You guys ready? Yes. Okay. Uh, welcome to Infinite Valuable Time. Today is February 9th of 2024, and I'm your host, Brian Park. In this podcast, me and guests will freely talk about and share opinions about technology, culture, worldwide news, and etc. Uh, since Wikistation is located inside the year AU University, we will definitely talk about school life, school culture with students in present and future podcast episodes. And huge thanks to Wicked for letting me use a space and gears. And thanks, Ryan, for training me to become a podcast host. Today, we have Samantha Mock. We have Justin Ferraro. And we have Tyler Catizone. Catizone. Very good. Welcome to my first ever podcast. And I'm very honored to have you three uh, here today. Uh, can you briefly introduce yourself to podcast listeners like, with what you study from Samantha? So I am in mechanical engineering, but my focus is biomed engineering. So I'm majoring in bio or in mechanical engineering with a minor in biomedical engineering, military science, and maybe human factors. I am a air traffic controller, and I have a minor in aerospace and occupational safety and human factors. I am studying homeland security and intelligence, and I have a minor in GIS and UAS. Okay. I saw Samantha from the Com Two Two One technical report writing. How's it going for you? It's it's been something. I um I had a hundred in the class, and then she just posted an assignment and didn't actually assign it to us. Yeah. So now I have ninety three, and I'm like really <laughs> mad that I'm not doing well in a comp class. Yeah. But do you think it's overall it's easy class or hard class to pass? I think it's an easy class. It's just a lot of work. Like That's um, true. we have an assignment every single day, mm -hmm. and I hate communications. I'm so bad at writing. <laughs> like actually garbage. You can ask. Brian about my yeah, resume. Definitely. Really good. Yeah. Justin, what about you? What's your uh, hardest class right now? Right now, um, probably national security enterprise. Okay, why? Because it's very long. It's like an hour and 15 minute block. Okay. And he's, he's not super clear on like what he wants us to know. He wants, and he okay. just tells us a lot of stories. And so it's like, like stories are great, but like, what uh -huh. am I supposed to learn? <laughs> <laughs> like, does it give you like a lot of assignments? No, no, really no? no. So that's good. As as a homeland security student, uh -huh. I have uh, one homework assignment a week. Okay. So, so that's pretty that's pretty fun. That's cool. cool. That seems so challenging. Yeah, yeah it's very challenging. Tyler, I met you like five minutes ago. Yes. You're Justin's friend. I am. What is your easiest class? Oh man. <laughs> That's a hard one. So <laughs> no, um, probably uh, I don't know the actual name of it, but it's um, SF three forty one. I think it's safety and security ground ops. That's, with, that sounds easy. Yeah, I have it with Professor Bug, and okay. he's just an absolute pleasure to have in class. He's he like super chill. He's super chill. All he does is tell stories about being in the military. Okay. Know, just like random things, like um, he makes like uh, uh, like weird like stupid jokes all the time, such as. Uh, give, give me the best one. Okay. So <laughs> he started class. Okay. Uh, he had a uh, like a kind of like a non-transparent glass bottle, uh -huh. and he was like, "Cheers, everyone! It's the start of class." And then um, this one kid's like, "What is in that bottle there?" And he's like, "Oh, I can't tell you that." And he takes a drink, and he calls. He's like, "Ah, ah, it's vodka." <laughs> <laughs> he's like, "Just kidding, or am I?" He seems chill though. He's a very cool dude. Yeah. So I did some uh, research on you guys. Uh, starting off with Samantha, you have. Ten fingers, you're in ROTC. And I asked the OpenAI's ChatGPT about your, the meaning behind your name. The name Samantha is of Hebrew origin. It means listener or heard by God. It is derived from the Hebrew name Shumway, which means God has heard. Samantha became popular as a given name in, in the English speaking world during the 19th century. What do you think about that? That's really interesting. Yeah. I actually, my name is Samantha because my brother's name, so my first name is Samantha Jean. Okay. Uh, my brother's name is Sean Joseph and yeah. we're 11 years apart. So oh. when my parents were having me, he was really upset that no one had his initials. So he was okay. like, her name has to be SJ. Okay. So they just kind of panicked and they, cause they thought I was a guy. So yeah. I was supposed to be Samuel. So I ended up being Samantha. So okay. not too much meaning, but. Okay. I mean, that's, that's pretty cool. Do you have uh, more siblings? No, it's just the two of us. Okay, do you guys get along well, or? Not when we were kids. Okay. Um, when I was in first grade, he was going off to college. Wow. So, it was a big difference, but, I mean, I was just a bridesmaid in his wedding, and then yeah. I was the best man in his other wedding, so, okay. yeah, we're really close now, but okay. definitely not as good. Justin Frado, 
I did some research about you too. You have 10 toes, and you are in the shark team. This is true. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what is shark? It, uh, it stands for uh, studying habitats and reef kingdoms. It's a okay. scuba diving club uh -huh. that does conservation on the side. Mm -hmm. I think we're doing um, one beach cleanup this semester. In Dayton Beach? Yes. Nice. But a lot, lots of dives, which is cool. We're yeah. going to West Palm okay. Beach this uh, Sunday. Um, how many? How much does the weight for the gears? Everything. How much does it weigh? Yeah. Um, well, like the tank, I think weighs like ranges from like forty to like seventy pounds. And I pounds. assume that you don't have the um, the fear of depth. No. No. Not particularly. What was the the most scary moment? Oh, um, so we were in this like like cavern thing, and I was with Tyler. Yeah, and Tyler, please tell me. He's going to blame this on Okay. <laughs> it's not my fault. Tell me. And I was with Tyler, and we're just kind of, like, messing around, just, like, sitting in it, sitting in, like, the little cavern. And he has his flashlight on, and then he just turns it off, mm -hmm. and it's, like, completely pitch black. Right. To scare him. And, like, <laughs> you're looking around, and, like, you can't see anything. It's just yeah. darkness. Uh-huh. And I was, I got kind of scared. And yeah. Did you pee? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wanted to leave. And I was, like, freaking out. And he yeah. turned the light on. Um, oh, shoot. Never mind. I missed uh, Justin's name, the meaning. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, the name Justin is of Latin origin, derived from the Latin name Justinus, which itself comes from the Latin word justus, mm -hmm. meaning just or fair. As a result, the name Justin often carries connotations of righteousness, fairness, and moral integrity. Do you think you're moral? I, I believe so. <laughs> The name Tyler is of uh, Old English origin, derived from the Old English words tige, meaning tile, and halaford, meaning lord or ruler. Therefore, the name Tyler is often interpreted to mean maker or layer of tiles or one who lays tiles. How does it make you feel? I'm not so certain about the laying tiles okay. thing, but okay. not no. in particular. <laughs> Maybe not right now. I don't know. But... Um, yeah, Lord or Ruler sounds kind of cool, but okay. I mean, the real origin of my name is actually similar to Samantha. <laughs> Samantha. Similar to Samantha <laughs> is that my mom and my dad mm -hmm. thought I was going to be a girl. Okay. And so I was going to be named Taylor. Uh, but then, you know, when it happened, they were like, oh shit, it's a guy? <laughs> well, we can't name a guy Taylor, so yeah. I'm Tyler. Boom. Okay. Do you wish to have kids in the future? Uh... I probably not. No. Why not? Just seems like a hassle. Okay, Samantha, what about you? Do you want to have uh, family in the future? Yeah, I actually wrote. Um, so I went to a really, really Christian school okay. uh, for high school, and I wrote part of my um, dissertation on mm -hmm. like the calling to be my mother. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's okay to ask how many kids do you want for the family? I want three kids. Okay. I think two is. I don't know. Two with an age gap like me and my brother did not work out well. Mm. We, hated each other he threw me out a window kids like <laughs> okay first or at least kind of it was oh like, so, like it's this like there are these glass doors uh -huh. on like this deck and i like he threw me through the glass door and i just like went rolling on the deck and it's like a 50 foot drop so i hit the railing and i was just kind of like laying there justin what about you do you want a uh, family well my mom says it's a requirement okay um so probably how many kids do you want Maybe one or two, possibly. Really? Because honestly, I, what I want is like 11 kids. Do you think that's too 11? much? Wow, a whole starting 11. What would the... Uh, well, I mean, <laughs> that's would, the point. Like, you wouldn't be the first, so... What do you mean? Well, like, there's a lot of families with, like, a lot of kids. Yeah. Like that. Me? That... No, like, just I've seen, like, families before where they have, like, 11 kids. Right. Yeah, yeah I've seen cases, and um, yeah. I think, like, the Samantha brought it to me is that, like, a soccer team, because... Yeah, what I want, or I imagine that it could be fun if I have 11 kids, train them, grow them as a soccer team. Mm. <laughs> yeah, and then you just like, they're just like the whole national team. Yeah. The like thing. they're actually just the whole team. Yeah. That's, that's fair, actually. It would yeah. make the team a lot less confusing because then you can just follow them by like first name. It's not just like all these random people. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. That's true. Well, have you seen like those families that have like seven D1 athletes? It's like that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, because I've been, because I like talking about the family stuff. I don't know. I, I think that seems interesting to me. 
And I asked friends in Press Campus, and then they say, you're crazy. Like, do you think 11 kids is so crazy or not? Um, well... Because I, I need some with opinions. With the child tax credit, maybe not. <laughs> okay. I think, you, I think, personally, you can pull it off. Okay. 100%. Okay. Well, uh, you got to space them out. So right. that the older ones can take care of the younger ones. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it's like self, yeah. it's like self replicated. No, because I had friends. I have a friend who has 18 siblings, uh -huh. and it got to the point where like the older kids were literally like the nannies to the little kids, and it worked out for them. Yeah. But they had to have like two houses because there were mm. too many kids. Yeah, so, so like after. Keep that in mind. Okay. I'd say after. I don't know. I would love to know what the cutoff is. Maybe six or seven before they just start like self governing. You know, mm. like you don't no input from the parents. So you're good. Or like mutiny, like are they gonna overthrow you? Do you think that's possible? Is it? Mutiny over me? <laughs> Eleven kids? <laughs> I don't know. My brother and I caused enough issues and we were two. There were just two of us. Did you guys hear that um, our world population is going down? Oh no. Oh, was it actually? I did not hear yeah. that. Is that like, is that good news or bad news? It's a bad news because lesser people. Well, yeah, a lot of over... like populations are crashing. What about yeah. like overpopulation? Well, that's not happening right now. It's going, it's like the opposite. It's like a, it's this weird curve where it goes like that. And you don't want your curve to like come to, or you want it to like flatten out. It's, it's weird. Sorry. Yeah. Because I think that's bad because, you know, in the future, in the, as a long term, the people will not born as much. It means the whole population will go down. I mean, I think that's bad. What do you guys think? I'd say that usually uh, people dying is probably not good. That's like right. a benchmark rule. Like people die, um, you know, in natural way, but they're not repopulating. Oh, I, I just, it just clicked. I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So more people are dying than being born, yeah. basically. Is what's yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. I wonder, uh, I wonder like, uh, you know, if that has anything to do with uh, overseas or if that's like an American thing. I wonder what the individual country mm. birth and death rates are, you know, I wonder who is responsible for the decline. Yeah. Uh, based on what I've seen uh, on the data, um, China's population is going down rapidly. Uh, South Korea is going down rapidly. I don't know what's happening in North oh. Korea. I don't think anyone does. Yeah. <laughs> I think population is great there. Yeah, yeah that's true. Just, like, yeah. random numbers. Yeah, Still that's true. Um, yeah, Justin, do you have any thoughts on the lesser population? I'd say it's probably a bad thing. Yeah. We don't want to become an, an endangered, endangered species. Mm. So I want you guys to make a big family for the future yeah yeah 11 11 kids yeah i'll uh, i'll oh. donate my kids if you guys want oh perfect <laughs> um yeah thanks for bringing up the species do you think uh, our human species will go ever outer planet like out of earth and you know populate into mars or moon or anything i think so yeah um probably start with the moon i think moon. that's what they're trying to do why not mars because i I think uh, SpaceX is trying to make a colonization in Mars first. I think it might be hard to get people to go to Mars because I think... Expensive? Well, they were saying if you go, you can't come back because it's too expensive <laughs> to bring you back. One of the big issues is how space actually affects the human body. Uh -huh. Right. One of the research projects I'm on, actually, okay, um, about how like you um, experience muscle atrophy and like, um, like loss of bone density mm -hmm. just from being in space for 24 hours. Mm -hmm. So it's a huge... like we would see a huge decrease in human lifespan if we okay. were living in space. So to prevent that, I th you're saying humans should like get a training before? Um, I mean, there's not really anything you can train for. I mean, it's a problem they have on the uh, International Space Station now, too. Yeah. I think we'd have to be much more technologically advanced before we could even consider colonizing. Okay. Do you what? think that's like a pressurization problem, or what do you think causes the negative health side effects of being in space it's the way gravity moves the fluids in your body that create so there are problems you would have like like over 50 years like it's basically like getting old but like super rapid mm -hmm. just because of how gravity affects your body so it could be fixed possibly by just like making like a pressurized little thing on the moon. so that's what we're working on actually Boom. it's kind of cool it's not exactly like that it's like wearable Oh, so, so like the whole suit is like grounded. It's kind of cool. It's really neat. Well, what if the baby is born in, let's say, Mars? Um, oh my goodness, there's a show on Amazon actually about this, oh. and it's like. What's the name? Oh, I, I, I can't remember. What you're saying. I watched it though. Um, Who's the famous actor in that show? 
no, this is gonna bother me. But basically, they, um, it's hyper realistic on how the human body would be formed and like mutate based on growing up in that gravity system. Mutate. And it's kind of cool because it's like your spine like compresses and like, it it's really neat. But basically, there would be a lot of issues. Justin, would you like, let's say, your kids? Would you like to have your kids in the Mars? Um, <laughs> if it was like the same as Earth, maybe. But it wouldn't be same as Earth. Well, like the gravity. Okay. The gravity. Yeah. But I would, yeah. but I gravity would, would be different in Mars mm -hmm. than Earth. Well, if they like change it somehow. Yeah. So, because what I'm thinking of is because. Uh -huh. I think if you have your kids born in Mars, they will body will adapt to its gravity. Mm -hmm. So I think it'd be possible as a long term mm -hmm. to live I, on Mars. I can wait for someone else to do it first, and then okay. I will try mine it's first. Perfect. Yeah, you're starting eleven. <laughs> They're one, like two. test runs, right? Yeah, I'll it's do all just runs. an experiment. I'll try like three kids, you know. Yeah, you gotta get precision. So you gotta have the three, Definitely. and then if it works, like mm -hmm. go for accuracy. See so if you'll get. You have to get a funding from NASA for that. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you could apply. Of course, of course. There's always they would jump on that instantaneously. They would I be know. 100%. I I will contribute as much as I can. <laughs> yeah. All eleven kids. Yeah, all eleven kids. No. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Yeah. You'll see. You'll see. If I do it, I'll uh, let you guys know, and you guys will know. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure we'll hear all about it. <laughs> would you guys go to Mexico by yourself? Uh, Oh, by myself? Uh, why not? Ball fire hit me hard. I came back alive. You went by yourself? Yeah, I went to uh, Mazatlan. Yeah. It's above Puerto Vallarta and uh, Morelia by myself. Came back alive. I mean, you know, for a woman, I think it's... I was going to say you're also a man. Yeah, it's hard. But, uh, you know, for you guys, I don't think that's a big problem. Because I didn't speak any Espanol. Mm -hmm. I basically learned to survive. You just went over there without speaking at all? Yeah, no. That's so I interesting. Just had my iPhone and there's a free translation app in the iPhone. Mm -hmm. I say it, let's say, uh, hey, how much is this one? It's going to translate to Espanol. <laughs> you know, pl yeah, press the button. Play it back. Yeah. I'll give you that tourist price. Yeah. I know, but price. have you like ever heard about Mazatlan? Nope. Because there's, uh, when I went there, it was in um, December to early January. Like, I was the only tourist. Oh. Yeah, I was the only tourist. Everyone is uh, like pure Mexican. No one speaks English at all. Mm -hmm. And I think, I don't know, I just had fun because, um, you know, solo adventure, I think it's pretty worth of experience, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely a good way to find yourself. Mm hmm. Definitely. That's how I got this tattoo where I, it's, it, everything is under $200. Really? Yeah. Oh. And I told my parents, well, I didn't tell them. They somehow find it out. Yeah. And my parents are really classic Korean parents. They are so angry. Like, they say, you should never get a tattoo again. They only know about this tattoo. Mm -hmm. They don't know about this one and this one. <laughs> so, no, they, uh, it's okay. I mean, even, uh, even though they, I meet them in person to person, what, what should I do about it? Nothing. Long sleeves. Huh? Long sleeves. Well, I mean, also, it's something permanent. It's not like you're going to be able to change it. Yeah. So, I mean, you're just going to have to live with it. It's a decision you made. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, look at my tattoo. <laughs> also, I think uh, I did this tattoo for not to show off, but I think as a meaning to me. Because I get this, this one. I love Harry Potter and the Slytherin people. They have the, the Death Eaters have this tattoo. I like that. Mm -hmm. I got the, this one because I want to visit all the countries, all the nations around the world. Mm -hmm. And Carpe Diem was from my uh, one of my favorite movie called uh, The Dead Poet Society. Have you guys ever seen that? What is I've it? heard of it. Dead Poet Society. Robin Williams was in the movie. I think that was my first time I cried in the entire life. Oh. And he says about Carpe Diem, like, live the moment. Like, that just struck me, so I got this tattoo. Oh, seize the day. Yeah, seize the day. Yeah. Would you guys uh, get a tattoo? Probably or do you guys already have a tattoo? I do not have any you tattoos. Don't? I wouldn't get one. <laughs> you wouldn't? No. Why not? Um, my mom wouldn't let me, so. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. My mom let me either, but, uh, <laughs> I just think it's, um, I just don't like needles. Like, mm. it's scary. I it's, thought the it's, same it's, thing, yeah, too. It's, like, gross. Yeah. Like, before I went to Mexico, and a few years before I went to Mexico and get a tattoo, I was thinking, like, why people get a tattoo? I, I don't see the purpose. But when I actually go there and then, I don't know, 
I think solo travel kind of you know taught me free life. I I would say, yeah. And about the needle, it is painful at first, but you somehow get to enjoy the pain. Interesting. It is interesting because I don't like the pain at first, mm -hmm. but once you you know like let's say thirty minutes later, you somehow endure the pain, and you just you know go to sleep because you will get so bored of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Just a just a tip. Would you get a tattoo? I almost got one when I was in Spain, actually. Okay. Did you actually? No, because I was committed to play at an academy. Okay. And when you go to the academy, you have to record all of your tattoos, and it just felt like a pain to have to be like, Sir, so I have this tattoo, uh -huh. and like explain it. So I just didn't do it. Do, so when you have a uh, tattoo and go to uh, academy, do you have to erase them? Or... No, no, you can have them. Oh, you okay. just have to go through like a reporting process. I was okay. just too lazy to do that. Okay, okay. Yeah, I just wanted to hear some opinions about tattoos. That's all. Um, I think the package is almost ending, so I'm going to end with um, the last question. Since we're in the Wicked Station, um, from Justin, mm -hmm. what is your favorite music? Oh, my favorite music? Like style. Style? Yeah. Probably pop. Okay. Yeah. And more specific... Favorite um, artist, I would say. Favorite artist would yeah. be Rule. Who? Rule. Rule. Uh, R U E L. Okay. It's like Australian artist. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. It's a wow. really niche artist. How did you get to I, know this guy? It was a advertisement on Instagram okay. for his music video, and I <sighs> good thing good thing Instagram did that so. to you. <laughs> <laughs> the algorithm really got to you. Yeah. Tyler, what about you? Uh, I'd say my favorite artist is definitely um, Conan Gray. Who? Conan Gray. Okay. He is, um, he's an American artist. He does a lot of pop. Uh -huh. and he just released actually a new song called uh, Lonely Dancers. You should listen to it. Thanks for the shout out. Stream Lonely Dancers. <laughs> Samantha? Um, I grew up listening to country music, so okay. country is like my go-to. I know a lot of people are really against it. But um, Johnny Cash is my all-time favorite artist, okay. but Zach Bryan is my current obsession. So. A lot of my high school friends go to Jack Bryan's concert. Oh yeah, he's super popular. Yeah, because um, I went to high school in Omaha, Nebraska, and every time I see Instagram story, they go to Jack Bryan's con concert, and I don't know who that is. But it seems like they love country music a lot, and I kind of appreciate that too. Uh, yeah, right now it's 18.45. I think we're going to end the podcast over here. Thank you, Samantha, Tyler, Justin, for joining this, my first ever podcast ever in my life. Appreciate thank you it. for having us. Yes. Yeah, thank you for thank having you. us. Thank you. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Thanks, Wicked. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, I think it's over. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's over. <laughs> I think we're done. It's not recording anymore. I like country music. You do. Know, I don't know. People are like, it's either like you like country music or you're like, my country music is the worst thing ever. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't uh, like it until I came here. And like everyone listened That's fair. to it. Everyone listens so to country like, music here. I was like, oh, does really? that mean Everyone listens to country music here? A lot of people listen to country music. Yeah. Huh. How do you feel about the resident, as a resident country music listener? How do you feel about the...